This 10 years old boy presented with decreased vision in the left eye. The onset was gradual for the last one year after blunt trauma on examination. Pupils were of unequal size. There was traumatic midriasis in the left eye causing oval shaped mid dilated pupils. So I diagnosed him as a case of traumatic and isochoria. There was also traumatic cataract in the left eye which was the reason for gradual decrease of vision. So what is an isochoria? It is a condition characterized by unequal pupil sizes. So today we will discuss its various causes and uh, the most common cause of anisocoria is physiologic anisocoria and the difference between the pupil sizes remains same in light and dark usually one to two millimeters now after that you have to see check whether anisocoria is greater in light or greater in dark if anisocoria is greater in light it means the defect is in parasympathetic supply of the iris sphincter pupillae so the causes of uh, such an isochoria which is greater in light are eddies, tonic pupil, third nerve palsy, traumatic midriasis like this one and pharmacologic dilatation. And an isochoria which is greater in dark suggests sympathetic defect. So the causes for sympathetic defect are Horner syndrome. Argyle Robertson pupil, aeroitis, and pharmacological constriction. So, the, the other causes anatomical defects of the iris, uh, aniridia, coloboma, and ectopic pupil can also cause anisocoria. Then <clears throat> the pharmacologic causes are atropine, cyclopentropic amide and uh, pilocarpine and uh, eddies tonic pupil results from the damage to the parasympathetic ciliary ganglion or short ciliary nerves. Uh, aberrant innervation leads to a tonically dilated pupil with near stimulation and poor reactivity to the light. The third nerve, the eye is down and out and dilated and it's an emergency because aneurysms can also cause dilated pupil involving third nerve palsy. So that was all about the anisocoria and today's case was traumatic anisocoria. Thank you.